You're watching the four on five and we've been talking about how amazing this weekend is going to be as far as the weather goes and that's just one of the reasons you'll likely see a thousand or maybe even more motorcycles around to Mobile and Baldwin counties. The other reasons President Trump and horses. Our news director Chris Best is also the author of the WKRG.com Biker Dad blog. He is joining us live to tell us about the events. Chris, let's start with President Trump. A lot of motorcyclists will be out supporting him this weekend. Yeah, it's bikers for Trump, and uh, like you just said, about a thousand bikers are expected to be riding in um, Baldwin County this weekend. We have some video of the bikers for Trump at the White House earlier this year, but this time they're going to be here in Baldwin County at the wharf. Uh, they kick stands up, I believe, at 11 o'clock tomorrow, and like I said, about a thousand bikers are going to be out there showing their support for the president. Chris, talk to us about this connection between bikers and President Trump that started just a few years ago. Yeah, it really started in 2016 during the, the first election with uh, Donald Trump in it. Bikers say they got together out of patriotism to promote the president's ideas, and now it's an even worldwide phenomenon and getting behind even local and state and, uh, elections in each state. Also tomorrow, I love this one, I love animals, horses for heroes. Yeah, and there's, this one's really close to, to me, and this is where I'm going to be tomorrow. It's an annual event designed to tackle PTSD in our combat heroes, and it bene benefits the equine therapy group, which a lot of you have heard of just because Kerry Watley, their founder, is a local um, counselor and who's a, a regular um, contributor here on WKRG News 5. Um, last year, um, we, I was there in Hundreds Road in the uh, out to the ranch in Stapleton. It starts tomorrow morning at Mobile Bay Harley, and the second stop is at uh, Bob's Downtown Diner. And by the way, speaking of Bob's Downtown Diner, I have to give a big shout out. Thanks to my friend uh, Tony Sawyer, um, who he's a good friend, as you clearly see if we show these pictures here momentarily. But he found out that my motorcycle broke down today and I wasn't going to be able to ride in uh, the Horses for Hero ride tomorrow. So he insisted on taking his trailer out to my house in Spanish Fort today and picking the bike up right away and taking it to the uh, Harley shop to get fixed. So shout out to Tony. But anyone, anyone who knows him won't be surprised about that because he's one of the nicest people in Mobile. <laughs> and that's just how bikers roll too. So that's pretty awesome. And I just got a phone call like five minutes ago that my bike is back together Yay! and ready to roll. So I will uh, see everybody hopefully tomorrow at Horses for Heroes. Go support the Horses for Heroes, the equine therapy group. I know you're going to have a great time, Chris. Absolutely. And you can get all the information if you'd like to attend those events and others on the Biker Dad blog. Again, WKRG.com.